Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony and this is TC's Outdoors and we are back at the woodshed. So uh, if you haven't seen my last woodshed build video, sorry I'm stumbling on my words here, um, it's coming along pretty good. So we got all the rafters up, posts are set, um, 4x4 posts, 2x10 top plate. I know this is repetitive to some of you guys and uh, 2x6 rafters. So I have been working a little bit on the purlins. Um, if you see, I've got what, four rows of them up now, and I'm going to finish those up today and get the extension rafters built and uh, maybe get some of the inside um, dividing walls kind of set up so that I can start getting some firewood over here. Uh, I got my steel ordered for the roof. Uh, that'll be here next week. So hopefully, maybe the tail end of this video or a following video, we'll do the roof and uh, we'll be good to go. I'm still waiting on siding. Um, I swear Facebook marketplace around here. Uh, there's like a thousand guys that have ads of rough cut lumber and not a single one messages messages me back It is super frustrating uh, But either way uh, at some point, I'm sure I'll find some so uh, and then I'm gonna use one by six and uh, just rough cut pine and give it a year to cure and then uh, We'll stain it and it'll be a good-looking woodshed forever. Hopefully so that's the plan um let me get you guys set up and I'll kind of show you what I've been doing as far as purlin spacing and um, what I've used for a jig to uh, speed up the process a bit for me. So uh, let me throw you on the tripod and we'll go from there. So here we go. All right, so in the beginning, I wasn't real sure on what I was gonna do to keep my overhang consistent and uh, with only having one guy without somebody to measure the end while I held down the rafter. So what I came up with was just this little one foot block that I've got clamped to the end of the rafter here, or the purlin, sorry. And all I do is take it, and I've got these spacers, so that keeps me a two foot on center all the way up, so I don't have to measure that as I go. Um, I just pull this tight against the rafter over here, and then slide that down, maybe, like so. Everything's a little wet this morning, and then that's it. My spacing's good this way. My overhang is good. And I've already pre-cut this one. I cut this one at the tail end of the other day. <clears throat> but now all I gotta do, grab the nail gun, get it stuck down, and uh, then I can work my way on down. My spacing is two foot on center, so now all I need to do is cut this next one down to 12 foot exactly. It'll span all of the trusses, or trusses rafters, and then uh, that'll be it. Nail that down, measure the last one, and that row will be done. Okay, so all I need to do is slide this down and pop these spacers into place. One there. And we'll put one a little further down. Just got a nailer in place and we're good to go. Okay guys, so that is how I'm doing the purlins. Um, I'm gonna put you guys on time-lapse and we're gonna crank the rest of these out.
came out pretty good. I didn't die doing it, which is nice. Uh, there they are. That last couple of rows got a little hairy. Had to climb up on top to do it. Um, but it's okay. I made it. Uh, now we're working on the extension rafter here. Uh, I already have this one pre-built and I just cut the, um, the center pieces to 10 and a half inches, which will give me the uh, one foot that I'm looking for. And the opposite side I will probably use that edge to square everything up just to make sure that we're square. So I'm gonna have to wait to do that until I've got a, another set of hands or two. But uh, I figured I'd bring you along while I put this one up and we'll see how this goes by myself. It's kind of heavy. Uh, I have it propped up on the ladder on that end and then I'm gonna carry this end up. I'll clamp it, get down, clamp the other end and hopefully, hopefully everything goes the way it's planned out in my head. So, the nerve-wracking part is how uneven the ground is. And... So far. Whoa. And that's what I don't want to do. Hmm. If this works, <laughs> it'd be awesome. <laughs> you probably didn't see that, did you? I hope you saw that. It worked. And I didn't turn the camera. Sorry about that. Now all I have to do is adjust that edge up there and uh, get some nails in it, I think. And then I'll be good to go. pieces while on my way back. All right, so the uh, that extension jam went on actually a lot better than I thought it would. Um, it's hard to tell probably on the camera, but the ground here is super uneven and it was a little sketchy on that ladder back there, but it's okay. I didn't fall. Everything's good. So it came out really well. I'm happy with it. 
Um, I am going to take off this top plate. It's really not doing anything on the outside. I'm going to spin that around to the inside so when I do the siding on the outside, it's a nice um, smooth finish on the outside. Everything's the same level. Um, so that's next on the agenda along with uh, a dividing wall between these two posts in here. So let me bring it inside if I can do it without hitting my head. So between these two posts right here, I'm going to put a dividing wall and I'm going to stack the wood against this. And then on this side, I'm not exactly sure. This will be for like either totes of bundles or a pallet or two of bundles or something along the lines of that. Maybe the rototiller, a couple other small items that I don't really want to put in the garage, but I don't want sitting out in the weather either. Uh, it's too small for the tractor, which is okay. That wasn't really des the design anyhow, but um, I need to finish this. And like I said, but, oh, sorry for the sun. Hold on, let me spin you over here. So if you sit, look down, this extension jam, when I do this, when I left that top purlin long, just in case I need to um, kind of skew this last rafter a little bit just to square it up so that the tin works out good. Uh, but I need another set of hands for that. I can't square this up by myself, not confidently anyway. So that's not happening right now, uh, but at least we got the other one on, so that's cool. And uh, I got a soccer game. Actually, there's two soccer games. My son and daughter both have soccer games this afternoon, so and they're both home, luckily, which is cool. So uh, I'll split it, one half with one and one half with the other. That's the plan. So uh, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Uh, thanks for coming along. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends if you want to. That'd be cool. And uh, come on back. We got to finish this thing up. Uh, the steel will be delivered next week. And uh, that'll probably be the next video is getting the roof on and hopefully siding. I don't know. If any of you guys out there know someplace and you're in my area, someplace I can get some one by sixes, like 16 foot pine, uh, rough sawn. That would be awesome. Let me know. Thanks. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.